Hi! Welcome to our new video on Image R. Today we will talk about the steps you have to do before you start engraving images on your machine. We assume in this video that you've already aligned your laser mirrors perfectly. First let's talk about what we will do in this video. We will find out the sweet spot of your laser, also called the focal length. We will do a ramp test together to achieve that. Then we will find out the needed DPI for your future images. So, let's get started. What we need. A piece of plywood. A digital caliper. A small piece of acrylic. All files you'll see in this video are attached as download in the video description. Enhance one side of the plywood by putting something underneath of it. Now we will move our laser head to the highest position of the plywood. Load a solid line file in your laser software. If you have issues with that, you can use the file I used. The download is in the video description. We will set the power to get a clean solid line and set the file type to cutting. We only want to mark the material, the cut shouldn't go through. As you see, the line is at the beginning and at the end very bright, while it is pretty sharp at one point. Let's mark this point. Now we will extend that line so it is easier to measure. Move the head directly over the line. Now we will measure the distance from our head to the sharpest point of the line. We know now the perfect distance from our laser head to the material. So, let's lay down the plywood flat on our table. Adjust your table height to the laser head with the measurements we achieved before. I created a small ruler, which you can put between the nozzle and the material. Remember the number on the ruler where it fitted perfectly for you. For me it is on 6mm. You can download the ruler as well, link in description. This is now your perfect height from laser head to the material. We will use this distance now for every engraving in future. We can remove the wood and put our clear acrylic piece underneath it. Also measure the distance again with the ruler. Now we give one pulse to create a small dot on the acrylic. We will use our caliper to measure this dot as good as possible. Make sure to measure it on the back side, since the entry angle is always bigger than the current dot. For me, it is 0.1 millimeters. In the table on image R scan gap and DPI we can see that we have to use 254 DPI for 0.1 millimeters. Now we finally know our needed DPI. So, we can now try our first image. Place the wood. Measure the distance as usual with our ruler. Let's start the image. As you see, it turned out great. Let's make a simple image holder. File is also attached in the description. Now let's try another image. Both of the images turned out awesome. You can see the final results at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to not miss out any future content.